now. Huh, would you look at that? I, I guess we're really doing it. Yeah, I didn't expect you to get your footing so quick. I don't even have any leads on any G3 bounties. You are uh, serious about going after them, huh? You bet. We'll, we'll take them all down, including Garmantuous. Well, you're welcome to try. And if you do, you might want to go to the pawn shop and buy back the Dodge unit I pawned off. Forgot to tell you about it. Go scrounge up some pesos and buy that. Or whatever else tickles your fancy. I'll have some G3 bounties ready for you by the time you get back. Sure, sounds good. Thanks. Hey, sorry, yeah, no, he can't talk. He just sort of makes that noise. Huh, that's, uh, that's unfortunate for him. Hey, listen, uh, if you find a drum anywhere, my buddy Globo here, you know, he'd really love one. He's great, he's a good drummer. And I think it would help him, you know, he's a good musician. I think it would... Gene said you might have the old Dodge unit that goes with this bounty suit. Oh, yeah. We got that. Why? You want it? I want it, too. So it'll cost you. Uh, yeah, yeah. No, we, we know how buying stuff works. Now get out of here. All right, there you go. One Dodge unit. Have a nice life. All right, we got it. Let's try this bad boy out and then head back to Gene. See you soon, I hope. Okay, great. You got the Dodge unit. So how about it? Think you're ready for the big leagues, kid? What, what do you mean? The big league. The G3 cartel. That's the next step. Taking down their head officers. Okay, um, are you, are you're positive that we're ready for that? Yeah, whatever. Might, might as well try. But they won't be pushovers like Nine Torque, so, uh... Well, to be honest, I don't care if you live or die. You know that. You know my whole deal. But, uh, hey, it's your funeral. So go check out the Bounty 5000 whenever you're ready. Got two G3 leads for you right now. Krubus and Douglas. You can pick which one you want to let kill you first. I can't accept it. Why not? Because you know exactly why not. Tell me you can't live the rest of your life being scared of somebody. It's not worth it. What, while you were off murdering a gang lord in the slums? How is it down there? Any cool shops or is it just sort of depressing? Everyone up here just makes the slum sound really depressing. I'm probably just gonna not go down there, to be honest. But it is pretty crazy you killed a gang lord. And she was a woman, though. Not very feminist of you to kill a woman in power. 